Okay, so you heard that the student asked the difference between Yoko game Kiyage and Kikomi. Um, so I'll go through the Kiyage first, the whole dynamics um, on how that would work. So this is for lower levels, kind of orange belts, red belts, yellow belts. So the stance initially would be you can keep that cheek, so make sure the toes are in one line, hands to the side, so you can do for double your number eye or kamai. From here, so crossing over, make sure it's quite a tight cross, so not so big a circle. So this is coming across quite tight. Make sure the toes are in one line. For kiage, the foot lifts directly up. So you can see that's uh, touching the trouser leg with the supporting leg, and you can see the hips here are open. The knees point towards the target. Um, for kiage, the knee doesn't travel forward much, more of an arcing action from here, that way, and touch, and then down. You could twist the supporting leg a little bit, um, which some instructors do teach, which gives you a little bit more forward momentum. Um, but easier for lower level is just to keep here, snap, back, down. So to demonstrate the whole kick through, cross, lift it open, snap, back, down. So I'll do it facing the camera. So from there, crossing, the knees lifting, so you can see the hip open, knees facing target, snap, back and down. Couple of points, don't push the bottom out this way. The line of the kick is in line with the, the shoulder and the rest of the body. Um, part of the foot that you hit with is the edge. So it prepares, don't have the toes facing downwards, this way, out, back to your knee, and then down. So that's your Kogeli Kiyage for Kikomi. Preparation is similar, so crossing over. This time the knee lifts in front. The target is to the side, the foot travels, hit, back, and down. So this time the knee's pushing um, the foot forward and the supporting leg is also driving towards your target. So you can see from the front, cross, the knee lifts, drive in, pull back, and down. Um, this time you're hitting with the heel, so Japanese called Kokuto. So from there, driving in, lift, back, and down. Getting that pull back is very important, and pulling the foot back. You see some people kick and pull the knee back. This is uh, very Taekwondo-esque for uh, Shotokan. Pull the foot and then down. So once you begin to demonstrate, and down. So that should hopefully explain the difference between Kiyage and Komi. Good luck.